Hello. I'm, uh, I'm taking here the opportunity uh, to explain briefly what quantum coherence m means, this phenomenon, which is the dominant phenomenon for transition for the transition at from the quantum world, the nano size world, to uh, our macro scale world, and uh, how this uh, quantum co coherence mechanism explains uh, how the the inside dipole vortex field uh, we see inside the magnet uh, transitions to the familiar classical outside field of the magnet, the macroscopic field. And also, why uh, we cannot see this dipole vortex field, which is inside the magnet, it's called quantum magnet field, why we cannot uh, map, it, map it with uh, normal iron feelings. And we need uh, instead uh, this 10 nanometers uh, magnetic uh, nanoparticle, which, is, which are inside the parallel. So let's begin with briefly what uh, a few words explaining what quantum coherence is. It is well known, face it, at, of quantum field theory that everything can be described in quantum mechanical terms. Every system can be described by its constituents, which is a very smaller. So the complex, however, the complex interactions between a physical system and its surroundings, the environment, which is we refer to the macro world, disrupt the quantum mechanical nature of a system and render it classical and under ordinary observation, meaning observation by us. This process is known as decoherence, or more precisely, quantum decoherence. So, in our uh, previous presentation about uh, the misconceptions uh, concerning the Ferrolen, some common misconceptions. Uh, we show that the inside quantum magnet field, which is actually a dipole vortex field, a, a dipole magnetic flux vortex field, generates the outside field of the magnet. And we say that uh, the Ferrolen does not sense the outside field, but the inside field of the magnet, which is called quantum magnet field. So you can say that, of course, you can say that this field here, this dipole vortex field configuration, magnetic flux, uh, produces uh, the outside field. But uh, in quantum mechanical theory terms, we don't say that. We say that the quantum field, which are, are these two dipole vortexes, these dipole vortices here, which are joined together, uh, that these fields um, are uh, decohere, the, this quantum field here decoheres, decoheres to the outside macroscopic field. So this is more a more uh, a more precise uh, description. And we can see that also here uh, with the lens, with the actual field shown by, uh, by the lens, Uh, here, so we can see it here. So we have the two dipole vortices of the quantum magnet field inside the magnetic, the material of the magnet. And uh, we have overlaid here the outside field as, a, as it appears with the iron fillings. So you have the, the dipole vortices here, the quantum field, which coheres to the outside field we normally see with iron fillings. So one description is that the, the, the two vortices yeah, resembling fans, yeah, some very loose resemblance, uh, produce the, this uh, outside flow energy, say it, it was air flow or water flow, yes. and. Uh, yeah, and then so that uh, the, this inside field produces the outside field. Uh, but again, as I explained, the more 
quantum uh, correct expla explanation is that the vortex quantum field, the dipole vortex quantum field, decoheres to the macroscopic uh, outside classical uh, field. Yes? So, if you now continue with the previous uh, slides here, So now, so quantum decoherence has many levels of explanations, and we have quantum decoherence of fields, uh, but also quantum decoherence uh, are also in sensor, in magnetic sensors. When we say magnetic sensors, we say we can uh, we can refer to anything which can sense magnetic uh, fields, and in, in our particular case the individual uh, flux lines inside a magnetic field. Uh, notice here that uh, a hole sensor is not used for mapping individual magnetic flux lines. A hole sensor, a magnetometer which is uh, fitted with a hole sensor, senses uh, the B field, which is magnetic flux density, the degree of how dense the magnetic flux lines are together, not for mapping vector individual magnetic flux lines. So the question now here is why we not uh, see this uh, spiral spiral dipole vortex uh, field of the quantum magnet field of the orion in every magnet, inside every magnet, when we just sprinkle iron fillings, yes? Why we don't need this 10 nanometer size uh, particles inside the ferro lens to see this? And why we cannot see that with uh, just with uh, uh, normal uh, iron feelings or iron shavings? Yeah. So if you look here, if you look here at in the if you go to the internet. And uh, type in here just uh, uh, iron fillings uh, magnet. Uh, so we go to images. Yes, so we see here, here, um, in here, in this, uh, in this uh, mapping of the, of the magnetic field of a magnet using iron fillings or iron, or just iron shavings. Iron fillings, it's, it's, they are more like powder-like. So iron shavings are larger chunks of uh, ferromagnetic material. So in this case, the magnet is under the paper, and we can see also the field lines, uh, the field lines here. Yes, the field lines here, uh, connecting the two poles. Okay. But again, uh, this here, these lines are not the lines inside the magnet. They are the, they are still the field lines outside the magnet, they are still part of the classical outside field of the magnet. They may be overlaid above the body of the magnet, but it's not its quantum magnet field, it's not its quantum dipole vortex field. They are still the lines inside, uh, outside uh, the magnet, the outside field. So we don't see here this dipole uh, vortex uh, I have shown you uh, the spirals, the spirals configuration, but we see the outside field. So we need for that the, the ferro lens. And uh, so, what is what is an explanation and also to dec uh, to demonstrate uh, how the coherence works? So a simple example to to understand. What, uh, how the coherence, quantum coherence, involves 
and changes things uh, to the ability of a magnetic sensor to to precisely map the curl of the magnetic field. I have uh, done this little <coughs> drawing here. Uh, here. Not, sorry. This one. So, okay, let's now <coughs> see. Um, we have uh, such here a spiral, a magnetic flux line of the inside quantum field of the matter. And uh, this flux line, this is the vanishing curl we see. The, the flux line of the dipole vortex field, each flux line is a spiraling line, which spirals in uh, into pole of the magnet. And uh, we see here with a 10 nanometer nano size magnetic part uh, sensor, which are the particles inside uh, the fur lens, uh, the sensor here is very small in size. So these lines here, theory says that each point of a flux line is uh, there is a, a magnetic uh, force vector involved uh, with each magnetic vector a tangent to each point of this uh, magnetic flux line. So if the curl is, uh, if the curl is uh, so variant like this here, which is vanishing, uh, you have, uh, you will, you see, you see that you can plot very well the line by these small segments. Yes, and uh, the more smaller uh, a magnetic sensor is in size, the more sensitive is it is in detecting uh, variations of the curl of the curl of a f uh, magnetic force line. So you can uh, see now uh, that uh, uh, by being small means everything means that it can sense quantum uh, quantum fields. So we can draw precisely, aligning each uh, f uh, small nanoparticle here, each nano chain, and uh, precisely map uh, this quantum magnetic flux line, this one should curl flux line. But if you so the curl is accurately mapped in the case where the sensor is very small, yes. So this uh, this quantum curl is accurately mapped. But if we now, if we now go in the case of uh, of an iron filling, yes, uh, the se we see that now the segment we have uh, in order to map uh, precisely such uh, such curl in a magnetic uh, flux line, in a quantum magnetic flux line, is much bigger. Actually, uh, an an iron filling powder not shavings, powder, has a size of si uh, 40 micrometers compared to the 10 nanometer size of the nanoparticles inside. So these are 10 nanometers, which is billionth of a meter, and this is uh, 40 micrometers, each iron uh, shaving, uh, more or less, th that is the size, 40 micrometers, usually which is uh, almost 4,000 four four times larger, exact 4,000 4, times larger uh, in size than the nanoparticle inside the furnace. So this makes this, uh, this, uh, this now is a macroscopic sensor, we call it macroscopic, and is destined uh, that uh, it will have quantum coherence. So this uh, sensor cannot sense the quantum field. It has no uh, sensitivity to to, uh, to sense this kind of uh, changes of, of the curl of a magnetic flux line we see inside the quantum uh, inside the field of a magnet, the quantum magnet field. And actually, you see that you cannot uh, just uh, make tangent this each sensor. Uh, tangent to this magnetic flux line. 
it's impossible to draw in such detail uh, this line by using such a large scale uh, size sensor. So how you will map this magnetic flux line with a sensor particle thus relative big. So you see now that the why uh, we say that the, the ferro lens has minimum quantum decoherence, meaning that its sensors can sense this uh, quantum field, uh, this um, small uh, changes and uh, con uh, continuous changes of the flux, of the curl of the flux line. But instead, uh, as you go larger and larger in size, the, the magnetic sensor gets less and less sensitive. So it becomes more insensitive and cannot sense this uh, quantum spiraling uh, flux lines inside the field of the magnet. And also, uh, because it's sides, it's not possible to align precisely to, the, to this vanishing curl magnetic flux, this vanishing curl magnetic flux, and so it cannot map correctly the quantum magnet field of the inside the magnet but instead senses only the outside uh, macroscopic field. Okay, it's like uh, you have uh, a grid of small holes and uh, you, have, you have to just, uh, you know, sprinkle some dust over the small grid of, of holes and only the fine holes can pass through, and the big, uh, um, uh, sorry, the the, uh, the fine uh, grains of sand can pass through the holes, and the larger uh, stay on the grid. So it's a matter of sides, which makes the possible the ma mapping of the. It's, it's a matter of sides of the very important the sides of the magnetic sensor you use, in order uh, to be able to map the, this quantum vortex dipole field, yes? So I believe uh, this has clarified uh, what we, what, how the size of the sensor uh, has very important role uh, when uh, mapping the quantum field of the magnet and why it's not, uh, this is not possible with normal iron fillings, which are macroscopic sensors. So you, in order to sense the quantum field, you need quantum-sized, nano-sized uh, magnetic sensors. And with uh, macroscopic uh, sensors, like iron fillings, uh, you map the outside field. So, so this is here, these iron fillings are are sensing the outside field because they are together with a field uh, which coheres from the inside to the outside. It coheres from the spiraling field, dipole vortex field, to the more axial classical field. This uh, iron filling sensors also cohering by sides. The larger the sides, the more. Uh, the properties and sensing abilities decohere, and therefore uh, are able only to sense uh, the outside field of the magnet, the classical field. But the uh, iron fillings, uh, the, the, the particles inside, uh, inside the, fer the ferulent, which are nano size, can sense uh, this dipole vortex the vanishing curl we see of the quantum magnet field inside uh, a magnet. Uh, and uh, therefore are able to show us uh, this picture here. So thank you again. This is Emanuel Markulakis from the Hellenic Mediterranean University. Bye.